హలో ఎవరు ఐమ్ అనిరుద్ధన్ షాండిల్య ఐమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఐఎమ్ స్టడింగ్ ఫైనల్ ఇయర్ ఆఫ్ బిఈ ఇన్ శ్రీ వెంకటేశ్వర కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ బెంగళూరు అండ్ ఐమ్ హియర్ టు ప్రజెంట్ టెక్నికల్ సెమినార్ ఆన్ ద టాపిక్ అ డేటా మైనింగ్ బేస్ సిస్టమ్ ఫర్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ఫ్రాడ్ డిటెక్షన్ ద కంటెంట్స్ విచ్ విల్ బీ గోయింగ్ త్రూ అవర్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ రిలేటెడ్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ వర్కింగ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటేషన్ బెనిఫిట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సిస్టమ్ ఛాలెంజెస్ future enhancement conclusion and references coming to the introduction part every day news of financial statement fraud is adversely affecting the economy worldwide considering the influence of the loss incurred due to fraud effective measures and methods should be employed for prevention and detection of financial statement fraud i synthesize academic literature related to fraudulent financial reporting with dual purposes to better understand the nature and extent of existing literature on financial reporting fraud and to highlight the areas where there is need for future research i review publications on accounting and related disciplines including criminology ethics finance organizational behavior and accepted for publication data mining techniques have been proved the most commonly used techniques for prevention and detection of financial frauds the implementation of data mining techniques for fraud detection follows the traditional informational flow of data mining which begins with feature selection followed by rep- representation data correction and managing pre processing data mining post processing and performance evaluation what is data mining data mining is a process of discovering patterns and insights in large data sets it involves the use of machine learning algorithms and statistical methods to analyze data and extract meaningful information simply put data mining is a process to uncover fact bearing patterns by exploring a large collection of data fraud detection is a process of identifying fraudulent activities such as unauthorized transactions it involves the use of various techniques such as rule based systems and machine learning algorithms to detect fraud fraud is responsible for theft of intellectual properties and trade secrets fraudulent transactions worldwide cost companies and individuals hundreds billion hundreds of dollars every year customer transaction fraud detection is an important application for both public and banks and is becoming a heated topic in research and industries many data mining techniques have been utilized in financial system to save consumers millions of dollars per year The rise of e-commerce and online transactions has led to a surge in fraudulent activities. To combat this, businesses are turning towards data mining systems for transaction fraud detection. Data mining is a process of extracting useful information from large data sets. By analyzing patterns and trends in the transaction data, data mining algorithms can identify potential instances of fraud. Related background. With the fraud industry now becoming a major concern, Many financial companies invested huge sums in the development of fraud detection systems and the team of experts. Many researchers actively work to mitigate problems with the design of FDS such as class misalignment, as overlap, etc. NK Gyanfi and J Abdullahi have analyzed the behavior of customer to predict fraudulent credit card transaction using the supervised learning methods support vector machines and unsupervised back propagation network the proposed algorithm uses the historical data of the profile of the customers to analyze the behavior of the customer and the new transaction is evaluated after evaluating the performance metrics it is found that the precision of support vector machines is 80% which is way more efficient than the back propagation network amid has developed a fraud detection technique in an adversarial environment the t- standard paradigm of the detection of fraud is its static model that serves as a filter for fraud and non fraud the problem of classifying the genuine transaction as a fraud incurs high costs and decreases the customer satisfaction level similarly the transaction amount is lost if it classifies the fraudulent as a genuine transaction benjaji has developed a solution to improve the classification of an imbalanced data set 
The performance of fraud detection classifier for skewed data set is enhanced by oversampling technique, k-means clustering, and genetic algorithms. Working implementation. The first step in the system is data collection. This involves gathering transaction data from multiple sources such as credit card companies, online retailers, and financial institutions. The second step is data pre-processing where the transaction data is then pre-processed to remove noise and inconsistencies. This involves cleaning the data, removing outliers, and converting the data to a usable format. The third step is analysis of data and modeling of data. The pre-processed data is then analyzed using machine learning algorithms to identify patterns and trends that may be indicative of fraudulent activity. These patterns are then used to develop a predictive model for fraud detection. The final step is results and evaluation. The predictive model is then tested using a validation data set to evaluate its accuracy and efficiency in detecting fraudulent activity. Benefits of the system. The data mining based system offer several benefits over traditional fraud detection methods. Firstly, it can analyze large volumes of data quickly and accurately, reducing the risk of false positives and false negatives. Secondly, it can identify previously unknown types of fraud, reducing the likelihood of future occurrences. Finally, it can monitor transactions in real time, allowing for immediate response to suspicious activities. By implementing the data in data mining based system, businesses can reduce the risk of financial loss due to fraudulent activities. The system can also improve customer confidence by ensuring that their transactions are secure and protected from fraudulent activities. The other benefits may include, <coughs> it detects fraud quickly to prevent revenue loss, monitor millions of transactions from multiple channels in real time, Identify unusual patterns in fraudulent activities by combining real-time transactional data and historical analysis of the customer behavior. Adapt quickly to new fraud techniques by rapidly applying new rules. It can also update and refine fraud rules in real-time. It can balance and prioritize workloads to ensure maximum recovery. It can get complete auditing, transparency and traceability. The challenges. While the data mining techniques have benefits, it also has many number of challenges and limitations, some of which are, while the data mining systems may offer many benefits, there are also several challenges and limitations. One of the main challenges is the need for large amount of data to train the machine learning algorithms. This can be particularly challenging for small businesses with limited transaction data. Another limitation is the potential for false positives and false negatives. While systems can accurately detect fraudulent activities, it may also flag legitimate transactions as suspicious. This can lead to delays in processing legitimate transactions, potentially impacting customer satisfaction. Finally, the system requires ongoing maintenance and updates to ensure that it remains effective in detecting new types of fraud. This can be time consuming and costly for businesses. The other challenges would include Overwhelming volumes of data, the need for automated fraud detection tools, changing fraud patterns over time, class imbalance, model interpretations, and time consuming. Future enhancement. In the future, the fraud detection system must be based on a cost sensitive model such that it must minimize the labor cost required to find fraudulent transactions. The system must ensure a good F1 score such that it will not misclassify any fraudulent transactions as non-fraudulent and non-fraud as fraudulent transactions. Future work in this area could involve using much more advanced machine learning techniques such as deep learning to improve the accuracy and efficiency of the predictive model. It could also involve expanding the system to include other types of fraudulent activity, such as money laundering. Coming to the conclusion, 
Learning from imbalanced data is a new challenge and a critical problem in recent years. Most standard machine learning algorithms ex expect only the balanced data and it will provide unfavorable accuracies for imbalanced data. In the real world domain, the problem of imbalanced data is unavoidable and it is a recurring problem. In this paper, the proposed model is a semi-supervised learning model that uses unsupervised deep neural network autoencoder to extract the latent representation of the genuine transactions used to train the balanced ensemble models that classify the transaction accurately. This model requires minimal transaction data so that the training time and the execution time is very less and the performance measures are also good. The data mining systems based system for transaction fraud detection is an effective way to prevent fraudulent activity in the financial sector. It can help financial institutions to identify and prevent fraudulent transactions which can save them millions of dollars. These are the references used by me to prepare these slides. These are some more of the references used. Thank you.